And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The sisters of Lazarus sent word to Jesus, saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not to end in death but is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and his sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. And then, after this, he said to his disciples, Let us go back to Judea. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. Everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I've come to believe that you are the Christ the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. Jesus became perturbed, deeply troubled, and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died. So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave. A stone lay across it. He said, Take away the stone. Martha said, Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. He said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God. So they took away the stone. Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me. But because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands. His face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to him, said to them, untie him, let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary had seen what he had done, began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the gospel, the Lord raises Lazarus, the heart of the lesson of the gospel. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. I am. One of several I am, I am statements by Jesus in John's gospel, revealing his true identity. I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. With the I am, the resurrection and the life is the high point of all of these statements. I am is God's name. The name given to Moses at the burning bush. I am. Jesus uses God's name for himself. I am. 
Martha, uh, he tells us that he who believes in me will still live, even if he dies. Whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? <laughs> this isn't a promise that we will not die physically. <laughs> Lazarus died. 100% of everybody since then has died. <laughs> but our Lord's promise is that spiritual life is possible after physical death. Physical death, a prelude to the resurrection. Passing leads to resurrection. Our Lord asked Martha if she believes. She said, yes, Lord. I've come to believe that you are the Son of God. God's Son. The Messiah who comes into the world. A threefold statement of faith. That he is the Messiah. He is the Son of God. He is the one coming into the world. All kinds of confessions of faith already, but this is the most complete confession of faith in the Lord. Just a short time we have of Lent that is left to make the most of this time to grow in our Spiritual life, what is most important, our personal relationship with the Lord as Messiah, the Son of God, who comes to suffer, die, rise, to save us, to bring us to his eternal life. So for us to prepare ourselves to grow in our faith, a belief in his will, in his holy will for us.